Ella is the fourth of our nine children and she was born completely healthy. We had no reason to suspect that like, we would end up going down this extraordinary path. She was an athlete. She played soccer when she was little. She did ballet and was a very talented dancer. And um, we just thought it was all gonna be like that kind of a life. And then one morning when she was seven, she came in and her second toe was swollen up bigger than her big toe. Within, gosh, a couple months, she had to stop dancing. Um, and was using a cane to walk around our house and would just kind of hobble and to get from place to place. And then they started her on medication and she went into remission. And then she was fine for about a year. And then one day in February, it flared back up and her feet and her knees started swelling up again. I went away on a business trip for two or three days. And when I left, she was using her cane crutches etc and when I came back she was in a wheelchair. Now we saw 18 specialists at three different hospitals who all misdiagnosed her and then um, through prayer and luck we ended up um, at a podiatrist when her brother broke his foot. We took her in and he had her hop up on the exam table and you know she wheeled in in her wheelchair and he pulled her shoes off and her feet had, you know she had foot drop and so her toes were pointing to the ground and he goes that is Guillaume barre It's a very distinct foot drop. And he goes, even more than that, that's acute motor axonal neuropathy. She started using the chair a couple weeks before her 10th birthday. I just kept praying for guidance because I didn't know, we knew nobody who used a wheelchair. We knew nobody with that kind of a physical disability. And so I came home and I Googled and Googled and finally the only thing that I found was adaptive skating at the skate parks down in Grand Prairie. And I begged and told and ordered and forced her into the car <laughs> and drove the whole way. And the whole way she complained to me that this was not the girl that she was. And um, we got to the skate park and they took her up the first ramp and she went down it and you kind of saw her like, okay. And by the third time she went down it, she's like, okay, I think this might be my thing. I think it's almost a direct quote. I think first of all, what drew me to it is I really loved the adrenaline of it. And secondly, like the community and the people there were so great and welcoming and just kind. I don't know, it was really nice. <laughs> yeah, my first competition I think was when I was 11 and it was just in the kids division at Worlds. And when I went to the Live Pulls On event in California, I won the um, <laughs> Balls to the Wall Award. <laughs> and then I won second place in the women's division at Worlds. And then <laughs> the next year I won first. So I got kind of really into basketball that following year, which is something that always kind of was on the back burner for me. It was like, oh, it's there, but it's just like, I really want to go play basketball in college, which looks like it'll happen. So I'm very excited about that. So I have been going to a community college since sophomore year, kind of as a full-time dual credit student. So by this spring, I will have my associate's degree. Before she graduates high school. Yeah. Listen, I'm not that good. <laughs> I'm not that good at school. Uh, solid AB student. <laughs> 4.1 GPA. <laughs> and then I really want to go play in the Paralympics. Um, that's just, I don't know. I think I could do it maybe. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> But I, yeah, that's just um, always been like a dream of mine. She's amazingly tough, resilient. She stays true to herself, and yet she's open-minded about things. She's kind, and she may not think it, but she is quite patient. I think something I learned just from like a really young age was kind of just to look at the problem you're facing, accept it, and just kind of take it one step at a time. Um, there's no like magic words or anything that can be done to kind of put a stop to it, even if you really <laughs> want a stop to be put to it. Um, you kind of just have to know that 
the tough time of passing, and, you know, the only thing you can do is just um, control the mindset that you have uh, going through it. My takeaway anytime I do anything like this is that people don't view disability as like a disadvantage so much, but maybe as something cool or normal. You can be a cool person and have a wheelchair. Right now I'm shooting. I'm super excited to see how that's going to turn out.